Hello everyone, we will look at intensity transformations in this video. In the previous video, we talked about basic image processing, image creation and so on. A grayscale digital image is an array of 8-bit unsigned integers in 0 to 255 interval inclusive. We call each integer a pixel. All images have three such arrays or planes, one for red, one for green and one for blue. We can manipulate an image using OpenCV functions or a pair of four loops to access each pixel, which is lower. We particularly studied about this data type uint8, which causes overflow if you try to assign a value greater than 250. So what are intensity transformations? Now if you take an input image which we can call fx where x is a vector having x1 and x2 and the corresponding output image gx where we have the same pair of coordinates uh, this pixel at x1 and x2 depends only on the corresponding input pixel that's what an intensity transformation is in particular it does not depend on the neighborhood of this pixel at x1 and x2 so once again in intensity transformations the output value of the pixel depends only on the input values of that pixel not on its neighbors. So if the input image is fx like this having values from 0 to 255 and gx having values from 0 to 255 we talk about this transformation as the intensity transformation which maps an intensity value fx to an intensity value gx. In this particular case, uh, this transformation t is equal to 1 always, uh, that means it is an identity transformation. Uh, so what this means is, if you take an intensity like 100, that gets mapped to exactly 100. So you will see uh, the identical input image when you apply this uh, transformation. Now let's see how to apply this transformation by using Python. First of all, we do the regular imports. Then after that, you have the transform, which is actually, actually a vector. So this vector has values from 0 uh, through 1 through 2 to 255. Now if we take uh, the location 0, its value is 0, location 1, its value is 1, location 2, its value is 2. If you take a location like 100, its value is 100 and location like 255, its value is 255. So you can see uh, this is the identity uh, transformation. Now we can plot this transformation here and when we want to actually apply it, uh, to an input image uh, which we call image original what we do is we use this function cvlut which stands for lookup table this takes two arguments image original and the transform so what it does is take individual pixels from uh, the image original and apply the transformation so for example if image original has a pixel at value 100 it will ask the transformation what value would you give me at 100 so it will see 100 and it will be uh, put in the image transform which is the result so you can see uh, it is the identity transformation the output of this function would be exactly of the shape, same shape as the input image okay when you look at the python code uh, you will see uh, this transformation right here as was in the slides and the plot of the transformation the identity transformation and if you run this 
you will not see any effect at all because it is the identity transformation uh, so here is the image and and nothing happens when you do the key press you can do the same thing with numpy indexing as well it's the same transformation and we open the original image and then the indexing that we do here is this now so you can see in here this transform vector is there and we are using uh, the original image as an index uh, to this transformation so if the original image has a pixel value 100 uh, this transformation will look at its uh, values and spit out 100 so the output will be of the same shape as the original image then uh, we can look at the negative uh, transform so in the negative transform gx is equal to 255 minus fx what that means is when fx uh, the input images value is zero uh, the output value would be 255 when that value is 255 uh, the output value would be zero it is a negative transform so extremely bright regions will be mapped to extremely dark regions extremely dark regions will be mapped to extremely bright regions when you want to apply this transformation in python uh, you would create an array of this nature starting with 255 going up until zero in steps of minus one so the array will be starting at 255 the next 12 will be 254 253 and so on up to zero then similar to the previous example you open the original image and then you apply the transformation using cvlut and this is a picture of the transformation uh, let's see the result so this is the result and when you do a key press you see uh, the negative of that result okay now the identity transformation and the negative transformation are not the only uh, transformations that we can apply we can do this transformation in a multitude of ways and achieve very different effects in the output image now particularly if you take this uh, transformation which is a piecewise linear transformation with line segments t1 and t2 and t3 uh, you can see uh, the values from 0 to 100 this range these are dark pixels will be mapped to a narrow region of dark pixels and if you take uh, these values from 150 to 255 these are bright pixels they would be mapped to a narrow range of very bright pixels and this range from 0 to 150 will be enhanced that's the effect of this transformation uh, to apply this transformation we had to create linearly spaced arrays from t1 t2 and t3 and concatenate them for this we need the coordinates so here the coordinates would be 0 and 0 here 150 and here 150 comma 200 and here 255 comma 255 so knowing these coordinates uh, we can construct uh, this transform In particular, we hold these two coordinates where the piecewise linear transformations break. The coordinates 150, 150 and 200 uh, in an array called C so that it is easy for us to access them. And then we construct line segment C1 as a linearly spaced uh, set of numbers starting from 0, going to until 50 uh, which is c01 and how many uh, numbers do we need to have there c00 that is 100 uh, comma 
100 plus 1, that means 101 values. And then T2 would be starting from C01, uh, that is 50 plus 1, starting from 51, and going up to C11, uh, that is 200, and the number of values that you would have here would be C10 minus C00. That is 150 minus 100. So then P3, once again, will be a linearly spaced array. Starting from C11 plus 1, that means 201. Going up to 255, how many values? 255 minus C10. So now you can see we have the line segments T1, T2 and T3 as linear spaced arrays and we construct the transform by concatenating them. T1, T2 concatenation first and then finally take the transform and concatenate it with T3. Uh, so the lengths of these have been displayed here. So first T1 will be of length 100, T2 will be of length 50, T3 will be of length 150, 105, all together the length will be 256. Uh, so we have to ensure that the length of this uh, transform to be 256 because there are 256 many values in the grayscale uintate image. So then similarly to the previous examples, uh, we take this transform and original image and use CVLUT uh, to get the transformed image. So we can run this uh, program. So when you run this, what you will see is uh, the dark pixels become, become darker, bright pixels will become brighter, the mid-tones will be more vibrant. Uh, so like so. So today, we're on applying intensity transformations. Uh, these are also called point operations. Uh, because the output value at one pixel depends only on its corresponding pixel value. Uh, in order to do that, we create a transform and this transform can be of any shape and we apply this uh, transformation using CVLUT. Uh, now, if we take an example like a medical image which may have 4096 different intensities that means it is a 12 bit image and we want to map that to a monitor that is capable of displaying only 256 intensities and we want to take a particular region and map it onto that this kind of a transform would be nice so you can see uh, there are a multitude of applications of this even though uh, this is a simple way of doing intensity transformation or point operations. Thank you.